It is Friday, it's two o'clock in the UK, 9 a.m. on the East Coast of America. And if you do need help with German learning, then I'm happy to say that Angelica is with me today. And this is Ask Angelica, episode 29. Hello, Angelica. Hello, Stephen. Hello, everybody else. Right. Now, uh, before we get into where I mangle the uh, German language, uh, we'd like to say a little bit about uh, what we're talking about today. Yes, I've um, almost written a blog post. Normally, I always write a blog post for Mondays, but as Monday is actually Christmas Day, um, I don't think anybody will want to read it. Um, so there will be one on Sunday. And it's actually a collection of German Christmas poems. Um, when I was a child in Germany, it was sort of tradition that before we open our presents on Christmas Eve, that we uh, did some sort of performance. So sometimes we would sing a song or we used to play something on our recorders or we used to recite poems. And I'm actually really pleased to see that that tradition still happens in quite a few families in Germany. So I did a bit of research and found that the poems that we used to read then, which is quite a few years ago now, um, are still being learned nowadays and they're still very uh, popular in Germany. So I've written about five and I thought um, we're actually going to have a look at one of them. So it's a nice poem. It rhymes. It's nice and easy she says, uh, to read. There are a few words or a few sentences which aren't quite as we would speak nowadays. But um, I thought you could have a go at it. I'm, I'm, I will have a go. I'm always willing to, uh, to try it. So we're going to take each line of the poem. Yeah. And the oh. German phrase first and then the English. Shall I say first and, what it uh, is? And, and then in the end, you're going to read it properly, aren't you? I will read it properly in the end, um, but I can give everybody the title now. The, the poem we're going to look at is called Vom Christkind. And it's a poem by Anna Ritter, who was a German poet and writer who lived from 1865 to 1921. So you can see that that's why it's not quite yeah. modern language. So I'm going to struggle. <laughs> I know you won't. You're telling me you're telling me that, aren't you? Anyway, let's 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 give it a go. So the first phrase to come up on the screen uh is this one, which I shall read out. Uh Denk Oik ich habe das Christkind gesehen. Mm -hmm. First of all first of all pronunciation. Euch, yep. euch, yeah. Denkt euch, ich habe das Christkind gesehen. Right. Uh now I've been doing German lessons all this year, so I can, without fear of contradiction, say that it harbor. I have seen the, the Christ child. It's yeah. the last part of the sentence. Mm -hmm. uh, denk is to think, so denken, denkt, uh, oik. Um, okay. It's a little it? bit tricky to translate. Yep. Sich denken is sort of when you're thinking about something for yourself or sometimes you're thinking things through. But here, of course, it's it's a command because somebody uh, is talking to others and says, I've seen the Christ child. So the denkt euch is, is a bit like, I, to me, the best translation is just think. You think. Yeah, right. just think. Okay. I've seen the Christ child. So, denkt euch, ich habe das Christkind gesehen, translates to, just think, I have seen the Christ child. Okay, yeah. so now we're on to the second line of the poem. Um, and I'm, and I'm going to read it out. Es kam aus dem Wald uh, das Mütchen wohl schön Schnee. Mm -hmm. I messed that up. <laughs> Es kam aus dem Walde das Mützchen ah. voll Schnee. Es kam aus dem Walde das Mützchen voll Schnee. Right, okay, again, taking it bit by bit. Uh, it, es, kam, is came, 
-hmm. Ashdain Valda is out of the woods. Yeah. And then the last bit I've got is full of snow, but mm -hmm. uh, was ist das Mützen? Right. Mütz you may know Schen. what Mütze is. What's a Mütze? Die Mütze. It's a, a, a hat. That's a hat. And what happens if you're adding a chen to it? Apart it becomes, from that, it turns into das, but it's also then a what hat? It, it's a smaller hat. Yeah. Right. So the, the translation then is, uh, it came out of the forest, his little hat full of snow. Yeah. Now we've got, we've got it and his. Is that? Yes, it's, uh, I'd, I'd, I was, it, it in, in English, or in, no, sorry, in German, the Christ child, the child is das Kind. Yeah. Hence, it's it. But of course, Christ child is also baby Jesus. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which is a he. So it's, right. it's a little bit tricky. I actually found somebody did translate it. Um, uh, there is no English version of the poem um somebody did translate it and i've taken some of the sentences there um to make it as close as possible and i think yes you, you you're talking about the it but then actually it's it's his his hat because it is a he got it all right and the next line of the poem is mit root root gefroren root Nation. <laughs> now, mit, mit rot gefrorenem Näschen. All right, okay. Again, uh, again at the end. It does. So mit is with. Uh, now going from a previous sentence where we had a little hat. Uh, so nas is nose, so it's little nose. Yeah. And rot is red. So I'm going back to the word rot gefroren. Four in them, so red. Gefroren. Uh, I'm going to take frozen. It is. It looks a bit like my nose when we've been out in cold <laughs> weather. Although it's not a nation. Yeah. So <laughs> with a little frozen, little red frozen nose. Yeah. Okay. And then we're on to uh, declining hender. Taten im V. Mm -hmm. Die kleinen uh, Hände taten im V. Taten im V. Uh, his tiny hands. Mm -hmm. uh, away. Mm -hmm. No. Uh, the verb is V tun. Ah, right. Okay. Take it with saw. Yeah. Okay. So his little hands were saw. Yeah. Or they heard him, we could have said as well. Yeah. Okay. The next phrase then. Den es trug einen Sack, das war gar schwer. Den es trug einen Sack, der war gar schwer. Ah. Now his uh, hands were sore. Yeah. Because. Why? Because, yeah. He, uh, and Zach, it's the same word, so sack. Mm -hmm. Uh, truk, truk means to. It comes from tragen. Ah, drag. Well, to carry. Carry. Yeah. Uh, die war gar schwer. Um, I'm going to. Schwer, heavy? Yeah. Okay, um, so it was it was heavy, uh, and gar. What is that? Well, sort of really. It's. I'm not sure whether people people still use gar for really nowadays, but it just means it was really heavy. Right. Okay, so the translation is, and that was a team effort, because he carried a sack that was really heavy. Okay, and on to phrase five. Uh, Schleppte. Und polterte inter in ear. Yeah, so that's ah. that's the end of that sentence actually. Okay. So it's it's quite a longish sentence, but yeah, schleppte und polterte hinter ihm her. 
Right, Hinter is behind, yeah. and he is him, so behind him. Uh, and I don't know what Schlepter und Polster is. Well, Schleppen uh, is sort of to drag, and, and Poltern, I think the translation I saw was lugged it. Um, it's, it's almost giving you the, the noises it made because he sort of uh, dragged and lugged it behind him. Because if you think it's supposed to be baby Jesus and then it's a heavy sack. So oh, yeah. not un unlike Santa who just chucks the bag over his shoulder and walks like that, um, it would be a lot more heavy for a little baby. Actually, the more you think about it, it sounds all very unrealistic anyway. Well, it's a poem. In a poem, <laughs> you can is, do anything. Absolutely. It's yeah. a nice Christmas poem. So, uh, Which he dragged and looked behind him. All right. The next phrase. Uh, was darin war, möchtet ihr wissen? Uh, okay. Was, what, was. Mm -hmm. uh, Darin is inside. Now that's shortened to Drin. I'll come back to that in a yeah. minute. Uh, Möchtet hier wissen. Uh, you'd like to know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, what was inside? You'd like to know. All right. Okay. Now, Drin, Dar, uh, should, should that be Darin or Drin? Uh, in spoken German, uh, it's it's basically. I don't think anybody says Darin. It's always Drin. Ah, okay. And remember, with a poem, also. Uh, sometimes you need to change the words a little bit, um, which I've forgotten to mention earlier on. You you read Wald because that's the word you've learned. Exactly so. Yeah, but we have Walde because otherwise we would have been a syllable short. Ah, there we are. So that's what I'm you, for. Yes, so it's kam aus dem Walde das Mützchen, Mützchen voll Schnee. So if you're actually counting it, yeah, es kam aus dem Walde das Mütchen. Oh, no, I can't even say it. <laughs> das Mütchen voll Schnee. So it's, it, it, it rhymes better than if you'd said, es kam aus dem Wald. Das Mütchen voll Schnee. All right. Okay. Now, phrase seven. Uh, hier Naseweiser, ja, Schelmen Pack. Yeah. And I have no idea. Well, first of all, that, that's a good attempt there, really. It was really good. Your Naseweise, your Schelmen pack. Okay. And my guess is those words probably aren't used anymore in German. Ah, I think that's my grandmother right. still used Naseweise uh, to us children. Um, I'm not sure about Schelmen pack. I'm guessing people only, or children nowadays, probably only know about those two words because of the poem. But I may be wrong. I don't know. Okay. Nasavise right. is somebody who, well, you've got the Nasa word in there. So they're, they're, well, you've, there's a translation. It, the closest, I think, is the cheeky and mischievous bunch of kids. There we go. And the next phrase is Denkt ihr es vera vera offen der Sack? Mm -hmm. Denkt ihr er vera offen der Sack? Uh, do you think uh, often is open and der Sack we already know. So do you think the sack was open? Yeah. Slightly okay. changed in the sentence so that it rhymes because it had to rhyme with shame and pack. Okay, this is... This is Yes, it rhymes in, in German, but yes, hello to everybody who's, wa yeah. everybody who's watching. This is, uh, just so you know what you're watching, I've got it down somewhere, just down here. This is Ask Angelica, episode 29, and uh, German language tuition, and we're currently reading a poem uh, line by line, and I am trying to uh, read it and translate it. So, um. Okay, so we just said, do you think the sack was open? Mm -hmm. Okay, so the next one, uh, number nine, Zugebunden bis oben in. Uh, mm, how is the translation, first of all? The sentence, the, the, the pronunciation. The pronunciation, Zugeb yes, that's the word I was looking for. <laughs> Zugebunden bis oben hin, yeah. All right, okay. Uh, 
Bunden sounds like bound, could be. Yeah. Zubinden. Uh, yeah. Zubinden is to bound, bind something or to tie something. Okay. Yep. And where uh, would it be tied if it was full? Mm, it was. It was. Well, I'm going to go with the translation uh, that we've got here. Um, it was bound and tied at the top. Yeah, because it was full, obviously. All oh, right. Okay. Okay. Uh, and fresh ten, uh, which I'm going to find. Uh, doch war gewiss etwas Schönes drin. Ja, doch war gewiss etwas Schönes drin. Aha. Uh, gewiss is etwas Schönes we'll go with, because that's uh, something nice. Ja. Drin, uh, inside, we did mm -hmm. that before. Ja. Uh, doch war. Well, doch, uh, is, doch is a bit of a filler word, which can mean lots of things or nothing but in this case actually it means but it's just another word for but in this case okay uh and gewiss yeah means surely all right okay so the translation is but there was surely something nice inside yeah and the final phrase from the poem uh elf is rock so nack afon und nussen? Well, I can get the last bit, but how is the pronunciation? <laughs> es roch so nach Äpfeln und nussen. Uh, Äpfeln, yes. Mm -hmm. Keep forgetting the umlaut. Um, es roch so nach Äpfeln und nussen. Äpfeln und nussen is apples and nuts. Mm -hmm. uh, and roch. Smell? Yeah, the verb is riechen. Uh huh. So ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it okay. smelled. And so is a filler word, really. Um, I think it, yeah, it, it possibly could say smelled just or just it smelled like apples and nuts. Right. OK, now. Or it smelled really nice or, or there's various ways of how to say that one. It's a nice filler word and nice and short. By the, by the magic of BeLive.TV, I can now bring up I'll take, I'll hide that word. I know you can't see it. I'm going to bring up, I'm just going through the Christmas scenes that we have. Mm -hmm. uh, I can now bring up a Christmas scene. Ah. Uh, yes, I'm not sure. Do you want snow or not snow? Oh, I don't know. I like snow. You like snow? Okay. Especially when I'm sitting so indoors. I'm bringing up the snow and I'm going to, it's yeah. going to start snowing. As you start to read the poem. Ah, okay. Let's hope I don't make any mistakes. <laughs> Vom Christkind. Denkt euch, ich habe das Christkind gesehen. Es kam aus dem Walde, das Mützchen voll Schnee. Mit rot gefrorenem Näschen. Die kleinen Hände taten ihm weh. Denn es trug einen Sack, der war gar schwer schleppte und polterte hinter ihm her. Was drin war, möchtet ihr wissen? Ihr Naseweise, ihr Schelmenpack. Meint ihr, er wäre offen, der Sack? Zugebunden bis oben hin. Doch war gewiss etwas Schönes drin. Es roch so nach Äpfeln und Nüssen. Wunderschön. Gone are the days when I was able to say this by heart. I now need to it. <laughs> <laughs> right. So that was wonderful. Um, now we've got the opportunity as we're actually live now. Uh, this is Angelica and Stephen in Wiltshire in England. And we just want to, well, what do you want to do this time of year, Angelica? I think we need to wish everybody a happy Christmas, which in German, of course, is frohe Weihnachten. So... Von mir, I think that's right. Pro Weihnachten, Pro Weihnachten, and um, uh, sorry. Yeah, and we'll see everybody again in the new year. Im Neues Jahr. Yeah, we could wish a happy new year already. Oh no, it's a bit early, really, isn't it's it? A bit we'll, early. We'll we do that we... one in the new show when we're back in the new right. year. Then okay, so that's, that's that sounds that sounds like a good idea. 
Uh, for everybody who caught the replay, thank you. And uh, we do wish you a uh, Merry Christmas and we'll see you in the next show, which is in two weeks' time, isn't it? No, it's a bit long. No, it's not. See, I'm just checking. I've got to yeah, check these just things. Check as well, as well, because I can't remember. Um, hang on. It's the 12th. We will Possibly be January. back. Yeah. We'll be back. Uh, Swolf, Januar, Zweitausend und Aksen. Yeah, I'm 12th January 2018. See, I'm, doing, I'm learning. There you go. Learn German, everybody. Enjoy your Christmas, and we'll see you again soon. It's bye from me, and tschüss well, from here. And.